One of the key ingredients of a tasty web story are beautiful fonts. Let's take a look at how you can add them to your story, how you can style them and work with them in a quick way. We will start this tutorial on the top left side of the editor. Click on the T button and the text tab will open. Depending on how you want to design your story, you can approach this in two different ways. You can either style your own text designs or rely on one of the pre-designed text sets. Both ways are completely fine, but in this episode we're going to look at creating text individually. Alright, we are in the text tab and I'm going to click on heading and some heading will appear on the page and I also want some paragraph and a little bit of paragraph will appear on the page. By default, the style of the text will be Roboto and we're going to change that. And in order to change that, I'll click here and I can scroll through different fonts. But I've already decided that I want to use Source Sans, so I can type in search source and here it is, Source Sans. I want to use that. I click on it and suck the text changes. Now I also don't want it in regular but I want it bolder so I click on here and I click on bold. Uh, maybe even a bit bolder. Okay there we go. I'm going to do the similar thing here. Don't want Roboto and now Source Sans already shows up under recently used and I click on it and now I have it in Source Sans as well. Now let's pretend that we are creating a page about where to get the best burrito in San Francisco. So I want to spice up our page a little bit with some images. So I click on the image tab up here and I'm going to search for some texture for some background. Um, just going to use this one here. Again, one click and it shows up on our story page and I want to set this as background and it is in the background. And of course, if we are going to pretend we're making a story about burritos, we want a picture of a burrito. So let's hmm, use this one. Now, I want to change the color of this text. I'm going to click on it again. Again, the style function of the text opens up. And if I scroll down a little bit more, we'll also see there's an option for text color. I think for this text we want it to be yellow, so I can adjust this one here. Go here, Let's see, maybe a bit more orange. Ah, I like this. Since this is a page about the best burritos in San Francisco, I want to change the text and make it about the best burritos in San Francisco. So I'm going to click on this text once and click it twice. And now we are inside this text and I can change it. So let's type SF tastiest, oops, tastiest burritos. And I'm going to take this here and drag it down a little bit to give us some space. I want this text to be centered. So we're going back to the style part and I'll click here on centered. And I want it to be a bit wider. So then you can grab this box and just make it a little bit wider. And now to make sure that this text is also center aligned on the page, I can grab it and immediately when you grab it, and move it around a little bit, these pink lines show up and this bold vertical pink line that goes through the middle of the page shows you that you have indeed found the best spot right in the middle of the page. So now I'm sure that this text is also center aligned. And of course I could also go here, click on this and just click on align center and we'll also center align this. Now, what if I maybe want to apply this style that I've just created to other headlines later on? In order to do that, I just have to save it as a style. So I can go to the Saved Styles menu and click on this little plus icon and 
It seems as if nothing happens, but if I scroll down, it shows up right here. I save this style and now if I click on this text, it turns into the saved style. But of course, this is not a headline, so we don't want this text to be in bold yellow lettering, so I'm going to undo this. Okay, I want to style this text now too, so we need some text first. I wrote something before and I'm just going to copy and paste it in here. And now we're going to style it. First of all, I think I want to center it as well. So I'm going to click on here again. And then I think I want to increase the line spacing. Let's see, maybe 1.5. And then I think it could be a bit wider. And maybe the font can be also a bit larger. So maybe for not 18, but let's type in 22. All right, and I want the text box to be a bit larger still. And now I want it to be center aligned as well. Again, I'm just gonna drag it there. Here we go. And again, I wanna make sure that this style has been saved. So I'm going to go here and click on the plus. And there we go. We have saved the style. Now let's say you created a text style for a header and you realized that your font size was too small. Then you can of course delete that style. And so we're going to click on our header here. I'll click on the pencil and uh, then these axes will show up and then I can delete my saved style. And now I'm going to increase my font size to 44. And I like that much better. And then I'm going to save this again. Here we go. Now I want to spice up this page a little more. So I'm going to bring in another heading. And for this font, I want it to be a little more crazy. So I'm going to use a font called Rock Salt. I'm going to type it into here. And there it is. And I want the color to pop. So I'm going to go here and select a red that kind of works with our orange yellow header as well. This is good. And I'm going to widen this box and going to type in say what? Because what we are finding out about burritos here is so crazy. And I want to underline this because it's important. And to do that, I need to select the text and then I can click underline. And here we go. I also want to slightly angle this. Say what? See? Here we go. And you can do that manually by just dragging this little button up here or you can go to the design menu on the side and you can go into this menu and click rotate and if we click zero there will be no rotation and if we type in a number then it will rotate accordingly and of course i also want to save this as a style so i'm going to click it and then go to saved styles and click the plus and here we go another saved style Now, as a final step, I want to test if my saved styles are really working. So I'm going to create a new page, I'm going to drop in some heading and some paragraph. And let's see if this works. So I'm going to click on heading and going to go to saved styles. Click on this. Aha, uh -huh, this seems to be working. Nice. I'm going to click on the next one. This works as well. And for the third one, let's see if this works. Yes. It does. Beautiful. All right. Thank you for watching this episode of how to use web stories for WordPress and see you next time.